you were a really close knit team, and you know the last home game for guys like Sam, Mike, and Hassan, you know, be really sad, and especially for Hassan, for him to not be able to be out there, you know, when he wants to so badly. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you really got to feel for a guy like that, and uh, you know he's such a great kid too. And I, I mean, I, um, I just feel really bad for him that he can't be out there and being able to contribute. But um, you know, mm -hmm. I'm really excited for you know senior night. I know Mike mm -hmm. and Sam are excited to play too, and uh, you know, kind of leave that one one last impression on UVA after their you know really great careers here. Yeah, what's your gut on the son? Probably not coming back this year. I mean, that's kind of been the word. Uh, you know. Uh, we only hope for the best, and you know I know he's doing everything he can to get back, and uh, you know hopefully he can mm -hmm. you know come back here uh, at the end of the year. How close have you gotten with with him and and Mike, and, and I know your room with mm -hmm. Sammy. No, I mean I'm close to all those guys. Like I was saying, you know we're a really close knit team. Mm -hmm. uh, we have great team chemistry. It's not one of those uh, you know situations where you know guys on teams just kind of you know do their own thing, or there's not that many mm -hmm. friendships. You know everybody's you know really close together, and uh, and I'm just glad that I've been able to become such great friends with, you know, all those guys. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for them and what they've done in their careers here at UVA. And then I'm sad that they're, you know, this is their last game or my last home game with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard from year one to year, like last year, I heard the chemistry wasn't so great, which kind of surprised mm -hmm. me because from an outsider's perspective, it, I mean, the chemistry looked okay. What's made the chemistry so much better this year than, than last year? Is that true in your opinion, too? I can't remember um, where I heard that, but I, I think... Um, I mean, I, yeah. I honestly felt like there was pretty good chemistry on the team yeah. last year uh -huh. also. Uh, you know, I don't know. You said, so, okay. I mean, yeah. it, uh, but this year, uh, I mean, I feel like, you know, guys, you know, I mean, we're with each other every day, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, guys will still, like, you know, get mad at each other and stuff like that, but that's just because, you know, you're with each other all, all the time, and uh, right. it tends to happen, but, you know, that's, you also build really, you know, close relationships with everybody by being with them, you know, and, you know, working hard with them and, you know, developing that kind of relation that not a lot of people can uh, are able to say that they have. Sure. Um, just looking at Florida State, I mean, yeah. that first game down in Tallahassee, um, I remember you guys had a lot of turnovers, and their kind of pressure, intense kind of defense mm -hmm. seem, seemed to bother you a little bit. How do, how do you kind of get yeah, ready I mean, for them? They're, they're a great um, yeah. defensive team, yeah. and uh, it was kind of, you know, last time we played against them at Florida State, it was one of those defensive battles where it just seemed like both teams were, you know, getting sped up or rushed by the other team's defense and turning it over a little bit more. Uh, you know, kind of uncharacteristic of what the two teams stand for. But, you know, this game leading up to Thursday, obviously we want to minimize those turnovers. And mm -hmm. uh, I think the last couple games we've made a, you know, a really good job of doing that. And then obviously, you know, it'll be a battle and, you know, we're, we're excited to play. Tony mentioned in our teleconference a few minutes ago that the opposition was actually going after your hand a little bit. Is what he what he what he said. Have you have you oh, yeah. have you? That's definitely happened. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely experienced that a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't know, my hand's broken, so I mean, why not? If you're an opposing team, to you know, maybe tap it once or twice to see how sore it might actually be right. right now. But any guys in particular you 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 remember doing that? Like, well, I mean, not I don't really want to like name names <laughs> like that, but we'll let fans guess yeah, on that. Yeah, some people. Yeah, just, I mean, some guys kind of like to smack at it a little bit more than others, but. Uh, and uh, it's all part of the game. That's been in the last three games, or just the last game or two? Or, um, not so much in the last game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my but it it doesn't really. You know, I don't know. It's like kind of funny because it doesn't really affect. It. I mean, I have a big cast on it, so mm -hmm. like, it's not like I can really right. feel a whole lot. But so it doesn't hurt when they do it. I mean, no, but unless you hit it hard enough, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of tough yeah. to take a full swing on it without like. So you think they're messing with you in the head more than anything? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, finishing, finishing, wrapping this up here a little bit, I mean, what what are your hopes for, I mean, the remainder of, of the season? I mean, obviously you want to, people say you need to win, um, you know, to be feel confident going to Selection Sunday, people are saying you need to maybe win one or possibly two games. Do, yeah. Have, have you guys... What, do you have an opinion on that? Like, I mean, in, would an eight and eight conference record get it done, or do you think you need to be ten and six or nine and seven? Or obviously, you know, you, you're not playing like. I guess these next two games, you know, we know how big they are for us and for our postseason chances, but uh, you know, it's, 
it's tough to kind of put that aside and just focus on one game at a time and, you know, kind of put the blinders on and not really worry about the outside distractions and all, like, the bracket talk and all that and just kind of focus on, you know, playing your game and letting the outcome take care of itself. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what we try, we're trying to focus on this team because, you know, we know if we play, you know, Virginia basketball, then everything should take care of itself. And uh, hopefully that NCAA tournament bid will be coming, rolling our way.